gonna show you how to install Glut on Windows and I'm gonna show you how to use it using Visual Studio 2008 so we will go to our best friend uh, search engine and we will go for something like uh, uh, install uh, not download uh, Glut for Windows the best result it comes from X mission these people are like really taking care of updating these files regularly so we will go and download uh, the latest library which is the smallest one we don't need the other one with source code distribution so we'll go and download this one I went ahead and downloaded it before so it won't take us much time so we'll have it here we'll go and unzip it extract to we'll go and have the file we have four files essentially we don't need these two we just need those three other files so we'll go we'll start run we'll go for s Windows system 32 I'm gonna go ahead and do that in an easier way it's like C Windows system 32 to my computer so you go ahead and cut the glue32.dll and paste it right here and you are done with step one step two is placing the glue32 library in its place so you go ahead and cut glue32 library and paste it in C golden files your Visual Studio installation directory Microsoft Visual Studio 9 and Visual C, VC and uh, lib and go ahead and paste it right here I already have it so I'm going to replace it so this is step 2 we're done with step 2 you can do, do it this way or you can run go to C Microsoft Visual C library okay it's the same thing so we still have step 3 which, uh, which is placing glue.h it's essentially the same thing except it's Visual C include we'll go ahead and do it with Explorer which is much more friendly program files Microsoft Visual Studio 9 include Visual C include and we'll place the file right here I already have it so I'm going to place it and that's it so now we're going to have to test it we'll go ahead and launch Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 go ahead and do a new project Win32 we'll name it test okay so after doing that we'll go ahead and press next empty project console application and press finish I'm gonna add a file I already did add existing file it's on my desktop it's called Sierpensky Sierpensky is like the first thing you can take in a computer graphics course we'll start debugging so and we're done as you can see beautiful beautiful result beautiful result good luck with OpenGL